Tiger Vanguard is a fun mandatory fight that's towards the beginning of Chapter 2 in Black Myth Wukong. He hits like a truck, he uses the environment to his advantage, and he's got a lot of quick moves, but he's certainly not invincible. As usual with these guides, we'll go over basic offense and how to counter, we'll look at the build a little bit, and then you'll see a full hitless fight. Right uppercut leads to a left delayed slam. He'll shake this one off and give you time to hit him. You can resolute strike the left handed slam if you dare. Right hook leads to a left straight, but before he retreats, he'll go into a leg spin. Watch out for that. Roundhouse kick leads to a three hit combo with his sword. Beware, the third hit is delayed with a spin. Because of that delay, you can resolute strike if you're prepared. If he jumps to your right, he's coming in for a two-handed downward slam. He usually starts the fight with this. You can resolute strike the slam if you're ready for it. If he's going in for the scream, dodge to your left and be ready for the straight punch that comes afterward. He will very much telegraph this powerful sword strike he does. Easy dodge, but if you're feeling spicy, resolute strike it. If he puts his dukes up like he's scrappy do, he's coming in for a big roundhouse followed by two punches to a slam. The slam per use can be resolute struck. Sometimes he'll use the arena pool to shoot projectiles at you. He does tornadoes and sword slashes. The tornadoes come in twos, the slashes come in threes. Easy dodges. Speaking of slashes and threes, if his sword is out and he does a pirouette, three slashes are coming, no projectiles. If he turns into a statue, he's looking to parry you. You can do one of two things, wait for him to revert, or you can keep hitting him and easily dodge the straight punch that comes after. If he gets into a stance before he turns into a statue, he's looking to trick you. Just look out for his footsteps and dodge the straight dash punch that comes after. If he jumps to your left, he's coming in with two punches, a stomp, and a slam. Again, if you're ready for it, the slam can be resolute struck. Sometimes he'll try to catch you off guard with a quick sword slash after a retreat. The last thing to watch out for is a shoulder charge to a body slam. You can be hit by that shoulder charge, so watch out. All right, so for the build, we got Wind Bear Staff, Fireproof Mantle, just because that's the only thing we have right now. And then we're actually going to use the Wolf Assassin because it increases your critical hit chance. Still rocking the Pilgrim's Armor. It's pretty good. It does more damage when you run. And then we got the Cat's Eye Beads and the Back Scratcher. For the Red Look, we're going with the Opportune Watcher. Um, just to get a lot of focus from light attacks, that's going to happen a lot. So for sparks at this point, between leveling up and having meditation spots, we're at 32 sparks total. For foundation, we really put a lot of points in the stamina because I really like the Vigilant Heart skill. Because we're going to be perfect dodging the Tiger Vanguard a lot, building up focus is going to be huge and we'll get that easily. There's also a couple in Martial Arts, basically up to Soaring Strike. For staff stances, most of it is into the staff itself. And then we are still going along with the resolute counter flow tree. Our last point is in immobilize for mysticism. Since we will freeze him a couple times during the match, stagnation can help. All right, that's it for the build. Let's get to the fight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Wait, wait. 